Hello, I'm Phil McCown, and welcome to the course. Uh, as you can see, I'm still in holiday mode. Um, I'll have to get all dressed up and ready for work in a couple days. I'm going to try at the beginning of each day to upload a video, uh, just kind of giving a framework for the day and outlining some of your options, and also uh, summarizing some of the events that happened in the days before. So today is our first day, it's our introductions day. And this is what the uh, roughly what the Moodle course should look like once you're logged in for day one. And I want to just quickly go over um, what each of these things is all about. The Getting Started page is a good place to start. Claire's done a wonderful job um, putting up a screencast showing you how you can change your profile on the Moodle course. Uh, there's also some really important information there about how you can change your um, uh, the settings for uh, your notifications. By default, Moodle is set up to send you emails as soon as everybody does anything. And so you might want to take a bit of control of that. In the introduction section, we'd like you all to please introduce yourselves. Uh, if you can make sure your profile is updated with a picture of you and your introductions um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself, then that's going to help us all to get to know each other a bit better during this course. And just as an experiment, in a show us where you were from section, I have uploaded or embedded a Google map, and I'm hoping that everyone should be able to edit that map and put a push pin in it showing us where everyone's from. And if this works, I will um, put the map on the main page of the Moodle so we can see just where all of our participants are from. So each day we will set up the day with a number of different tasks, and each one will uh, represent a different level of commitment to the course. Um, if really all you have time to do is just pop your head in and uh, you know check out the information available, then task one will generally be a consumption task where there will be resources and readings and videos and podcasts and that kind of thing that you can access. Uh, for day one it's a little bit different. Um, for day one what we really want you to do is sign up for the tools. And um, in this case, that would be Gmail, which probably most of you have. Uh, I'm also going to ask you all to sign up for Wikispaces and join our course Wiki. Um, if you want to take a little bit, f and then task two uh, is what I'm calling communication task. Normally, what this would involve is is um, being a part of some of the discussions in the discussion boards. For today, what we're going to try and do is ask you to just share your Gmail address in a Google form and tell us a little bit about your experience with global collaborative projects and what we'll try and do is sort all that information um, so that we can put everybody or everyone can find other people who are sort of about the same level they're at. And task three is generally going to be a collaboration task and in this case uh, what we would like to try and do is start working on our um, course wiki as soon as possible. The idea behind the wiki is as we go through this course and people share resources and we have good conversations and maybe figure out a thing or two, it would be great to summarize that information on the wiki so it's available for other people trying these kinds of projects. So for today, what I thought would be really interesting is if uh, we as a group could go out looking for good tutorials on using Gmail, on using Google Documents, or on using Wikispaces. And if you feel like taking on this task, uh, it would be great to have a number of us trying to um, put links to those resources or even embed them in our wiki and start to organize a tutorials page on the wiki that people could go to to find good tutorials on some of the tools necessary for collaboration. Finally, task four. Task four I've put optional because really this is, if you want to take it to the next level, really to embark on global collaboration that you really do need to start becoming a connected educator. And I'm assuming a lot of people in this course already are. Um, but if you are still working on becoming a connected educator, one thing that uh, really helps is learning how to pull information to yourself. And in this section, there will be some tutorials on using Google Reader and RSS to pull information to you, and also on our Digo bookmarking uh, site and how you can use Digo bookmarks to um, bookmark to the cloud and also connect with other educators. So that's all for today. Um, I hope you find something useful in here, and I look forward to the conversations.